Finally. I was having some trouble getting on. I kept saying failed, failed, failed. But here we are. Welcome to Curse to Dawn Late Night Gaming. And as I mentioned on Instagram, the plan for tonight was to breed my Textegos. Um, no particular reason other than they're kind of cool and they make kind of a cool egg and I was kind of curious what I would get. Now I assume I'm going to get a Textego. Yeah, it's not that funny. But, um... I don't know, maybe one of the other people in the server can use it and I just think it's kind of fun. So I've got Circuit and Servo, male and female, Textegos. The um, female has got blue flashers, kind of purplish, and the male is red. And he has more of a greenish body, and she has green on her too, but kind of more of a bra or copper, I guess you'd say. No, bronze, maybe. Look. But uh, he's 357 and she is 336. Now, of course, that's after tons of leveling. So I'm a little curious what we're going to get. And of course, we've got our Tech Rex and Tech Raptor here. I've been kind of looking for another Raptor because um, one of the other people on the server here, Kat, she's had no luck finding one. So I've been kind of looking for one for her. I like the colors on this red and black. It's kind of neat. But um, I've been kind of looking for one for her and and a male to possibly like breed them because this raptor does not respond to the pack if they're regular um, raptors. They has to be tech raptors to have a pack. So you need a pack of regular raptors and a pack of tech raptors to do a raptor pack bonus. You know, pack bonus stuff. So. So anyway, I've got them all hitched up here and with the S plus hitch you don't have to um, worry about them wandering around or put them in a small room so they don't wander too far away. I don't understand this mechanic, frankly. To set them up to breed, you set them to wander, and they inevitably wander away from each other. I don't know how that's considered breeding dinos. <laughs> but, anyhow, isn't that weird? It's a weird mechanic. I, I'm just trying to imagine in my head the design meeting where they said, so when you make the dinos breed, you set them to wander. Well, won't they walk away from each other? Yeah, there's a radius. If they get too far away, they'll stop breeding. Well, then how is that breeding? I don't know, but I think it's a great idea. <laughs> it's just a weird mechanic. I don't, I don't understand. But I don't have to, I guess, because S Plus fixed it by making a hitch where you hook them up and they can't go anywhere. So you go behavior, enable wander, and then you go to your other one. And behavior ma here, and then enable wander, and you should see, yep, if you can see there, I don't know, it's hard to see. They got kind of the little pulsing heart above them now. And then we go to the female, there you go, and you see 20%, 21%, 23%, yes, we have them turned up, because... Everyone on the server has one of those things, what's it called? Um, a life, right. Everyone on the server has a life, and we don't have hours and hours and hours to breed and tame dinos. Because I understand Wildcard set this up to be for like a um, big tribe. 
where I assume in their mind everyone would like work in shifts to make all these things happen, but it, come on, it's just a pain. Especially if you're a single playing or a private server. Now, at least in single play, they made it optional. You could go and change the options. But on a single, on a uh, your own private server, you just got it. Hey, I like you too. You just got to uh, tweak those settings. So we did. Hmm. So in a little bit, we're going to have an egg. And then we didn't touch the cooldown between breeding. So I know um, some people have that all cranked up so that it's just like egg, 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 egg. And then they use the S plus nest to gather all of those eggs. But to use the S plus nest, you need the tech generator set up. And I don't have that. So there you go. All right, so to breed again, it's gonna be four hours. So this is the one we're doing tonight. I'm certainly not so we go disable wander, back over here, disable wander, all right, here's our tech egg, and if you look at it, here I'll turn this off, it's all tech looking, it's got the uh, fancy, uh, what is it, I didn't take geometry, hexagon <laughs> pattern on it. All right, now you have to, I'm sure everyone knows, you have to take them to like uh, an air conditioner to get the correct temperature for them to hatch. Oh, look who's got this. It's not fertilized, but still want it. Anybody else here got an egg? I've got some female raptors here. Those aren't eggs. How about, no, no eggs. All right, fine. Okay. <laughs> so we have an air conditioner here and we have an air conditioner in the slaughterhouse. Um, but I don't want to do it there. Because a tech stego I know for a fact can fit through these doors. So here we got Zeno. We got our lovely bear that everyone loves. Blue. Balu, like from Jungle Book. Get it, Balu. Then we've got um, this that I regret taming because I don't use it for anything really like a desert beaver and then the kangaroo okay and the kangaroo's name her name is banjo all right so let's put down our tech egg here wow that thing look huh that spoils pretty fast okay um here we go There it is. Now can I get, let's see here. Okay, yeah. Egg incubations, counting down, counting down, counting down. Oh, fast. I think it was incubating on the ground out there. Huh. Sixteen, fifteen, etc. I should probably. You know what I think I'll do? I think I'll just take it to Cat's house and put it in her area. <gasps> what? Triplets? What? Hmm. 
Name something I don't need. Three stegos. <laughs> Tex stegos. Oh. Uh, triplets. What the heck? So we got a male, a female, and another male. 278. Can Banjo pick these up, I wonder? Let's get maybe we can get him outside. Um Okay, nobody follow, nobody follow, Chad. Okay. Banjo, can you do it? Uh-huh, you can't. Yeah, you're set to wander right now. No, don't go crazy, Banjo. Okay. Good job, Banjo. All right. I think we probably need to get some berries in these things, or we're gonna have troubles. How about don't wander? Let's see, that doesn't influence them whatsoever. Very big stack. <laughs> I need to get berries. Ish. Right. Seriously, you guys, why are you still wandering? Yeah, it's not turned on. Here, have some of these. you follow me. You're kind of getting away from everyone here. So they look like Mama pretty much in every way. Come on. All right. Okay. Now, are you guys juveniles yet? No, still baby. Baby, baby, baby. Is it just me, or does anyone else think that the Tech dinos. <laughs> oil? They should eat oil. Or gasoline. Because they're tech. Yeah? Seems to make sense to me. And you should have to knock them out with um, shock tranks because they're tech. So I'm sure everyone today is playing Spider-Man. That was the thing that 
came out that everyone's insane about. Everyone's like, everyone at work was like going, oh my gosh, you're gonna get home and play Spider-Man. Can't wait for this weekend, I'm gonna play Spider-Man the whole weekend. It looks cool, but I'm not much of a comic book person because the movies kind of just wore me out. I'm just so sick of superheroes. And, um... And on top of that, I don't have a PlayStation 4. I know. Terrible, huh? How could I not have a PlayStation 4? But I don't. And I don't have an Xbox One. I have a PS3 and a 360. So after the last generation of consoles, I was like, I feel stupid. I bought all these games and now I can't, now the next ones comes out and they're all kind of obsolete. Now I have this system sitting here. Like I'm not going to fall for it this time. I'm just going to stick with my PC and just chill out. Because I've got plenty of PC games, I don't need any. But then, stuff happens. Games like Spider-Man and Red Dead Redemption 2 that's coming out. Uh, it makes it hard to resist just going and buying one. Oh, come on, you can do it. One more bite. Okay, let's look at your inventory here, Zeno. You've got a bunch of garbage we don't care about. That is one of them. That. 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 None of this stuff. We don't need any of this. And that. I'll take the narco. Oh, not that. I'll take that too. I don't know why. Okay. Yeah, now we're back to moving. Okay, let's go put this over there in the trough. I did not expect to get three. What the heck am I going to do with three? I was going to breed one and get give it to Cat and just put it in her base on Wander and she'd log in and see this tech dino walking around. But if she doesn't want three, I don't know what to do with it. You got the same stats, right? 78, 78, 78, yep. Yeah. Okay, we need to put these. Oh, stuck on a tech. Okay, they're juvenile now. So that means they are now eating from the trough, and I don't have to have berries in the inventory. Back up, Zeno. Come on. Oh. Gimme. Probably just no. Yeah. Yes. Well, not that. Yeah. There's still a little left in there. Okay. So, an, excuse me. So, another update. I've been kind of working on figuring out a way to more streamline 
my go away. Oh, that's not good, is it? Hit those babies. Um, to more streamline the uh, process of making bullets, because here on our server we don't use bullets near enough. We don't use guns near enough. I mean, we because it's so dang expensive. So I found, figured out, I'm sure this was common knowledge before, but I just now noticed that you can melt, or um, melt, burn, make charcoal from uh, an industrial forge. So did not uh, really even think of that. So I've been doing it and cranking out the bullets. But the problem is I don't think... <laughs> Yeah, you don't eat that stuff. Um, the problem is, you know, the, who's the big flint gatherer in Ark? It's an Anki, right? The Anki is supposed to be the flint gatherer. And frankly, I don't think it gathers enough. It barely g gathers anything. I go out there with an Anki and I mostly get, I get more stone than I get flint. So explain that. Thank you for your service, Banjo, but it'll no longer be needed. So now that these um, guys are all grown up, or not grown up, but they're eating off the trough, let's see here. I'm going to take the berries they're carrying. Come on. Jesus. You know that... Um, Stego hitting them almost solved my problem. I wonder if it would have killed them. Probably. And I wouldn't have had so many. Where is Brutus? Or excuse me, that's not what I named this one. That was a different server. Um, Bearcat is right there. Okay. What? Why is he doing that? Whoa, 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 buddy. What is going on? Hello? What is it doing? That is crazy, guys. I don't know. Okay, I'm going to whistle. Follow, 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 follow. Okay, cal calm. Calm yourself. What is the matter? Wow. Why was it doing that? Oh, the terror birds are upset too. Now I assume that means that... Okay, so they were set to attack my target or something or... And when I got hit, they were upset. That's fine. But look at the terror birds. The threat is gone and they are fine. But he was running around like crazy. Whoa, and there he still goes. Oh, then I... <laughs> what the heck, guys? I don't understand. Wow. I need to love it. Wait. Wait. Wow, super slow. Good thing he's in the fenced-in area here, huh? <laughs> Behavior, attack your target. Uh, let's just set it to passive, because nothing hurts me on this island. <laughs> Be 
behavior. Passive. No, I didn't do right, you're sorry. Access inventory, let's bump weight on you too. But okay, now back to Okay, you're following me again, but you aren't. Okay. I'm not sure what the deal is here. Hmm. So I need to get him in a smaller pen. Okay. We can take him down here. on my current vultures. Okay. Clear. No group. Alright. Sheesh. I don't know what you were set to. You were going insane. Probably um, attack anything or everything. I don't know. Crazy. Oh, you're still falling. Cool. Um, actually, it's not cool at all. Go back. We're very active today. Just stand there and be good. Thanks. Okay. Ah, don't need three of them. Alright, let's turn this on and get the stuff cooking. Still got a lot of wood in here, don't we? Yep. Alright.
don't want to take a screenshot right now because it's such crappy weather, but by the time it clears up, they may be grown up. Hmm. Well, I did not need three. Do a stego pack, mommy, daddy, and kids. So, green and gold and blue that's pretty much all the colors of mom, right? Let's see. No, well, mom has silver legs. That's dad's legs. Yeah, it is dad's legs. Go away. I don't think I have any more saddles. Estiego. Saber. Nope. Don't have any stego. These are all drop pickups. I didn't make any of these. I warned ya. Next time it's old Betsy. <laughs> that was a trank arrow. That's funny. Oh, that reminds me, I need to take these berries.
I've got full of mushrooms. Okay. Well, we don't need that. Can this fit in there now? I don't think so. What's this? Vulture egg, huh? Um. Sometimes when you run out of space, you can cheat a little by seeing what's spoiled. Yeah, see. I can gain a bit of space by just picking it up and then putting it back and it restacks it. Same with the meat. So I think a stack of prime is 30, but... Ha! Huh, did it. See? Yeah, and I got two spaces now. Awesome. They aren't the best colors, are they? <laughs> I wish they got the dad's red spikes. So they are all only about 50% grown up. So it's going to take another however long to finish them up. And then I'm not sure what I'm going to do with them. Hmm. I know on PvP servers they're used a lot. Especially for um, raiding because they're tanky and do a lot of damage. But we don't do that here. We have two males and a female. Hmm. Exact same stats, right? So hers is 402 melee and 4810 Yep. Same. Yep. So they are literally twins. Huh. I'm not sure. I, I mean, worst case scenario, I've got a euthanasia gun. I could just pop them in the head and get rid of them. But that's not very nice. Hmm. Well guys, I'm going to log out uh, from ARC at this point, because, uh, well, I kind of did what I set out to do. I was going to hatch some tech st stego egg, and I got three stegos. Didn't even need one. Now I have three. Hmm. 
Oh, Ark is funny. <laughs> yeah, I don't know if it's that funny. But, um... So I'll probably um, call it a night and make this a quick one. Or maybe I'll play something else. I'm not sure yet, but... Uh, I'll be sure and get some pictures up on Instagram. And... I'll see you guys, let's see, probably the weekend at some point. Because I stream every other day. So, see you next time, guys. <laughs>